Hi guys, Legend Ball 101 here. It's just going to bring you a Impact Wrestling related video. Basically, um, I don't know what the title of the video is going to be yet, but I'm just going to say right now, Impact has jumped the shark with Tessa Blanchard now. I'm a massive Tessa Blanchard fan, don't get me wrong. But they're putting too much stock behind Tessa Blanchard yeah, and it's, it's, it's affecting the rest of the roster and the rest of this product. So, but before I get into that, let me just plug myself real quick. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, premium places you're going to find your boy, Legend of Old 101. Remember to thumbs the video up. Thumbs the video up, guys. Come on, smash that like button. As everyone always says, share the video, subscribe to the channel, become a legacy. Help me out. Help your boy out. Um, remember to press the notification bell. My next video drops, you're going to know about it. And remember to check the description box below as I've got a Patreon and PayPal down below. It's in its infancy. Just kind of start really saying that because I'm going to put my stuff on it if, if I can. And remember to put your comments in the comment section down below. Always want to hear what you guys are saying. Always want to know. Always. Um, and yeah. Let's get into this. Um, so literally I just, just watched Impact. Um, this week's Impact. And uh, it felt so thin. The Ross... It felt small, um, the, the product now, it feels so small. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, where's the balance between the divisions? I'm like, where's the mid card? Where's the heavyweight division? They've kind of blurred into one kind of product now. So, <sighs> time's a good thing, because it's like everyone can beat everyone. Time's a good thing, because you can get good matchups out of that, but the roster feels so small now for some reason it's like certain people are missing for the weeks at a time now and it's just too much it can't sustain itself because they're kind of doing the, they've got the WWE syndrome right now they have the WWE yeah that's what I might call the title yeah that's what I might call the title of the video they have the WWE syndrome right now where they're putting the same matches over and over and over again at the same time and they're putting random matches together out of nowhere just seeing a random match um I might say Alex, Alexia Nicole one of the new ones on the roster. Versus the Madison Rain out of nowhere. You're like, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Where did you come from? You were missing for like five weeks. All of a sudden you came back and you got a match. What? But um, yeah, stuff like that. And Tessa Blanchard just getting rammed down your front. Rammed, rammed. And Sammy Callahan suffering for it. His reign is suffering because of it. All of a sudden Tessa Blanchard comes back. He beats her. All of a sudden she's back next week. Beating him down. He beats her again at a pay-per-view. She comes back. Beats him down. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's hurting Simon Callahan. His reign should be like stellar right now. He's, he's basically, he beat Cage. Boom. It should be kicking off now. This is, it should be like just, just skyrocket. Like basically strap a, um, a rocket to his back. Boom. Straight to the moon. That's what so Simon Callahan should be right now. So Simon Callahan is, is a draw, bro. Um, and for a start. And her, her push is hurting the women's division as well. And you got Taya just trying to hold it down on her ones. <laughs> try to hold that division on her back and I love Tyre Tyre is you know what I'm saying gorgeous woman um, very good wrestler and very charismatic I say that as well about Tyre very charismatic she doesn't have to be the best wrestler she's very charismatic she can hold down the division but it can only last for so long and she's had a um, belt for so long now Rosemary's gone missing she's gone walk about what the heck is where, where the hell's Rosemary at she's been gone missing for like a year now on and off, she pops up, and that's it for like throughout the year. And this Rosemary herself was like carrying the division at one point for like the last five years. She was carrying that division. You know what I'm saying? People want to see Rosemary. Where is she at? Come on, man. Come on, yo. Give the fans what they want. I want Rosemary back in that woman's division, 100% full force. Look at that music. Left behind, bruh. When she comes in, pops, baby. When Rosemary comes, in, she gets pops. Come on, man. Um, so I'm saying because Tessa Blanchard being out of that division and doing doing the um the, the man run, it's it's a detriment to the um knockouts division, the women's division, man. It's a detriment to it now. Um, for a start, use Rosemary, bring Rosemary back. If Tessa ain't in that division, Rosemary should be slotted back into that division, making that division great again. You know what I'm saying? Because you got flipping Jordan Grace, I love her to bits, but Jordan Grace. <laughs> She's not very charismatic. I'll say that. She's 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 
still kind of green in that respect in terms of like cutting promos is very green you can see it she's not used to cutting very many promos um um so like you can tell she's she's a bit um shy camera shy in terms of like cutting promos you can tell she's a bit shy she can't really talk um rosemary could come in there cut a promo boom hyper match get in there mix it up give her some some camera time man give girl, call rosemary some camera time up to that tire rosemary um angle that was doing it of the drop down out of nowhere that, that she went here we go ha oh, just dropped just dropped off flipping cliff that storyline that was very interesting everyone was getting into that storyline as well the tire and rosemary thing then they dropped that out of nowhere the tire's got nothing to do again so they're putting a random challenger again putting Ro um jordan grace back in the back in the storyline again um go off flipping this whole knockout division is just uh, floundering right now you've got flipping madison rain coming random matches um, Kira Hogan having random matches out of nowhere. She's injured now, but she's having random matches. Lexi Nicole, great talent. I'd uh, love to see more from her. Um, she's gorgeous. Um, she's going to wrestle a bit too, so that's that's a plus. Um, I want to see Rosemary's sexy self, bro. Everyone wants to see Rosemary hotness. Rosemary's hot, bro. I think they're downplaying how hot Rosemary is. She's hot. And, and talk about charisma. Charisma. Rosemary has charisma for days. Come on. And the X Division, um, it's, that's kind of thin now as well for some reason. X Division just kind of disappeared. As soon as Jake Chris lost that belt. Weird. Because Tessa Blanchard has been wrecking the whole of OVE. OVE has been shot to pieces because of Tessa Blanchard. That's another thing right there. A faction's got <laughs> a faction just got taken apart this mantle because Tessa Blanchard, bro. Just to push her. So Tessa Blanchard is the common denominator of, the, of this whole thing. Like it's she's she's taking up the X division. She's taking time away from the tag team division, which is almost non existent. They put flipping Rich One and Winnie Matt together just to fill the numbers because they're the X left. Um RVD and Rhino, that, that started for like all of like five minutes. They cut, they broke them up again. RVD was with his flipping hot wife. Flipping. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I went on his girlfriend, I'm flipping Katie Forbes, bruh. She is money. Katie Forbes is money. I am going to what anyone says. She is ratings, bruh. She is money. Um, But yeah, they brought that tag team up. So it's basically Rich Swan, Willie Mack, as a team, the Rascals, the North, who are the champions. Um, who else is flipping there? The Desi Hit Squad, who are randomly having matches as well. They, I don't know if they're coming or going with Desi Hit Squad, so technically it's three teams. <laughs> so, the tag team division is basically non existent. The X Division, thin. Um, well, not getting pushed. Um, and the Heavyweight Division, which is even thinner. You've got flipping Cage and Sammy Callahan. That's basically the, the Heavyweight Division is, is Cage and Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanchard. I think what's going on right now. And Tessa Blanchard is going to get a belt at some point. I can see it. I can see him doing it. I'm like, Sammy Callahan's supposed to put Tessa Blanchard in the, in the rear view mirror. But she keeps coming after Sammy Callahan. She keeps coming and she keeps coming and she keeps coming. She's had the flipping Terminator for what the Dark Fate should have been. <laughs> Dark Fate in a trash movie. Uh, gosh, this Terminator. <laughs> Terminator. If Tessa, if Tessa Blanchard was being Terminator in that movie, I believe it. Um, but yeah. I just want to talk about this. That's a Blanchard thing, man. It's just it's, it's went too far, bro. People like Rosemary are suffering. She ain't getting seen on TV. She is not being shown. She's just randomly in the back, just chilling. Rosemary's hot self getting wasted. Um, so you got other talents just getting wasted. It's like, oh gosh, it's just like the vision was getting wrecked because Tessa Blanchard, bro. She's getting pushed too much. I'm a massive. Tess. She's the best female wrestler in the world. Don't get me wrong. She's the best, but you have to use her properly, man. They ain't using her properly right now. She's not She's not being used properly at all. She's getting over-pushed. Come on. Just dial back at Tessa Blanchard. Just dial back. Just, just a little bit. Just to make people wonder a bit more. Come on. Wonder again. It's a bit more. So, yeah. This is my take on the matter anyways. I don't know what you guys think of the conversation down below. Do you think uh, Tessa's being over-pushed? Do you think she, um, the rest of um, the... Roster, the rest of the products being suffering because of Tessa Blanchard's album push. Who do you guys think? What? 
Do you want to see Rosemary again? Rosemary, like, come on, man. Do you want to see Rosemary again? Um, how's the women's division? You know what I'm saying? The women's division. Talk about that in the comment section down below as well. The heavyweight division, the X division, tag team division. But yeah, that's what it's my little take on it anyways. Um, don't make me feel that's just a rant on Tessa Blanchard. It's not a rant on Tessa Blanchard. It's a rant on Impact itself. It's not a rant about Tessa Blanchard. Scare straight. I'm a massive Tessa Blanchard fan. Anyone knows knows me and see my um, past previous videos on Tessa Blanchard saying that she's the best in the world. She is. Um, but yeah. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Free main places you're going to find your boy. Problem the video up, guys. So everyone can see this video. Impact sees video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell. Next video drops. You're going to know about it first. Straight away. And remember to check the description box as well. So if you want to donate further, feel free to do so. And as I said before, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Always want to know what you guys are thinking. Always, always. Love you guys. Um, yeah, so wherever you are there or not, stay safe out here in these streets. It's Legible 101 signing out. Peace.